siembra y florece. Like, wow, we've only just got an off the train in Barcelona, and this is like what we got sort of greeted with. This is the first building. The train was pretty cool. Um, yeah, already, like, we just stepped off and it's, it's amazing. Um, wow. Okay, so we're in Barcelona. I found the toilet, which is what I needed. And our first uh, destination. And our first destination is going to be, hang on. <laughs> Basilica de la Sagrada Familia. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think. Anyway, it's huge. It's, it looks pretty. I want to go see it. Um, um, this is in Barcelona. Yeah, so the architecture is, yeah, it's, it's pretty stunning. It lives up to, like, you know, its name of pretty buildings and stuff. And, Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna put the camera down now so I can enjoy the scenery. And I'll um, see you when we get there. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, it's definitely not the cathedral. No, no it's not a cathedral. Okay, it's just a church. The cathedral of Barcelona. Oh my day. Whoa. <laughs> That you know what, is years, that's not bad. just incredible. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Is that the looks like a church. You yeah. know what? There's, there's, there's bits of fruit. There's bits of, No, I don't think they're fruit. Are they? <laughs> they're not fruit. It looks like a. Surely not. Oh, that is one. pretty impressive. Should we go into the town centre? Yeah, into that bit over there? I'm just going to send a picture to the other guys in the group chat. Okay, how have you got Wi Fi? Uh, Barcelona Wi Fi. Ah! Uh, oh. So there's a little guy up there still doing some construction work. Yeah, would you like that job? Uh, not really, it's in the pool. Wowzers. Okay, we can go. Pretty impressive. I'm just going to show you. Ah, uh, that. That is uh, pretty impressive. Not gonna lie. So um, it's been like over a hundred years in construction. Um, it's very ornate. Uh, it means the Holy Family, I think, in Spanish. Um, there's like multiple towers to represent Jesus and mother, father, disciples, and all the things. It was the uh, some anarchists attempted to burn it down during the Spanish Civil War. You know, uh, for whatever reason, I don't really know. Um, I'm not really that interested, I suppose, as to what, you know, there's lots of, there's lots of things about it. I'm assuming it's to do with the religious thing and money and whatnot, and that's fair enough. Um, there are many things wrong in the world. But you cannot deny that it is rather spectacular, whether you agree with it or not. I mean, look what humans can do. Look what we can make. Aren't we fantastic? And, uh, you know, I won't be buying tickets to go inside. I won't like. I can look at it from outside and appreciate the, the wonder and the magnificence of it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> but what is 
quite nice. This is like a little garden thing on the opposite side with a lot of flowers. And um, there are, you know, lots of things over here. And there's people with all manner of different phone contraptions to hold while they video and film and, and do their touristy thing. That's pretty cool. All their different ways. But yeah, this is a nice little space. I won't lie. This is like, you know, the building's cool and all that, like, which is over there. And then on the other side of the road, a beautiful little garden that, you know, not many people seem interested in, but it's very pretty. <laughs> and, um, yeah. You don't want to be good, keep going. And then go left, yeah? Leo, do you want to go in front of me, darling? Um, so we're just going to go around the other side and see what it looks like from that side. And then, <laughs> we have some buskers. I'm just going to have a look at these guys. <laughs> be there all day dancing and that yeah this is a little bit more up close wow um yeah and it's safe to say get just as many um weird looks in barcelona for walking back for <laughs> as you do in england and that's okay <laughs> Around the other side, apparently, there's another little park thing, little gardeny park, park thing. Um, yeah. Ooh. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, so this is the other side. And uh, 
Wow. Yeah. We've got some pretty cool um, depictions. I'm not quite sure how I think it feel about the knights on there, but I think that might be coming from a weird crusader English invader perspective. <laughs> um, there's a cool skull over there. There's, there's old Yeshua hanging from his cross. There he is. It's, uh, yeah. So I want to go and have a look at the other little garden thing. And uh, yeah, there you go. So we're in the little garden that's just behind, it's on the other side. Um, yeah, wow. And uh, Leo just pointed out a very good observation, which was that, um, <laughs> So how come Spanish music is the only music that's never bad? <laughs> so it doesn't matter what kind of music you listen to, if it's Spanish, it's always good. And he's right. That was very good for me. And uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, gardens, baby. There's another guy singing over there. Mm. Won't lie, the Spanish music was better. <laughs> I think him. Um, yeah. As like beautiful as it is, you know, and like as big and as ornate and as spectacular and as awesome. Just the outside, like this, you couldn't take it all in in one day. Like if you looked at the whole building, and then you went all inside. Too. As impressive as it is, I don't know if it's needed. Like that much, just that much. Like you couldn't process it all in one day. And each bit has got like meaning to it. Right, we're going to have a look at the book and see where we're going to head to next. We're doing it impromptu, how we feel. Well, okay, so we decided that the next stop would be the Recinte Modernista de San Pao. <laughs> um, another pretty building, it used to be a hospital or something, so that's where we're heading now. Okay, so we have arrived <laughs> at the San Paolo Recinte Modernista. <laughs> I want to say it around the Spanish people because I probably sound so bad at my Spanish. It's very pretty. And, uh, I'm sure you're going to use it for us, but No. Hmm. So, there we go. Woo! Um, oh, I forgot to say, <laughs> those birds are parakeets. I, was, I saw one today. <laughs> Yay! And they had loads of the nests outside the basilica thing, which, oh, you can actually see. Down there, look. There it is. Um, and yeah, I saw in the park thing there were loads of the nests, and yeah, I saw one of them. Yay! I saw one. It's a, it, they are parakeets. Woo! I was right. I'm so happy. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> That's way more fun than ours. Um, Obviously, it's not fun if they're in it. Um, but yeah, here we go. So, what was it called? The San Paul Recinte Modernista. Oh. 
and we're just going to walk around the outside of it the way that we did the basilic um, so we're not paying to go in this is our like how to do everything for free in Barcelona um, so there's a little bit peeping over the top Ooh. <laughs> and there's all this like really cool mosaic that goes all the way around the outside um, which is quite nice. Oh, so pretty. Good. I know it's gonna start raining. Ah! I love the rain. So there we go. Look. So this is the other side. Um, it's actually like still in a, uh, the hospital complex. I think. It's pretty cool. Some of it is still used as a hospital, I think. Um, not quite sure what this is used for though now. It's very pretty. Kind of reminds me of like snake skin. Um, you can see some of it in the distance there. Very pretty. District, you know. Yeah, a little bit. I wonder what they do in the maybe it's fifth or nine. <laughs> Very beautiful. This is the other side of it. Very nice. This is our free view. <laughs> la la la. Oh, I can sound the bench. That's a good idea, guys. Thank you. Ooh, look. <laughs> well, there you go. That's what we got to see of that one today. Okay, so there you go. There's that. The San Paul Residente Modernista. <laughs> that was very pretty to look around and walk and do the thing. Look at all the architecture. And now we are going to. Um, to a little park thing called Gran Clariana. Gran Clariana, I think. Um, so we can sit down, have some lunch, um, and just chill for a little bit. And then we've been walking for a bit. We've been taking little breaks on the benches and stuff. Um, yeah, so that's where we're going now. Okay, well we just finished in the park. Um, it was quite pretty. And um, I managed to see some parakeets up close. I think I got a tiny little shot of one or two maybe before they flew away. I scared them off. And now we are heading towards the Arc de Triomphe. And let's see what that's about. to the Arc de Triomphe. There's a cool little Spanishy buskery guy over here. He sounds pretty. Um, oh, nice. There's some like cool bat gargoyle things. <laughs> Those are pretty cool. 
There's another one over here. Oh, 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 there too. <laughs> so, it uh, goes down a little walkway. There's lots of pretty lanterns. And it's just like lantern-y type things. That's um Yeah, there you go. <laughs> We've been doing the proper mega touristy thing today. <laughs> It's been quite nice actually because we've walked all this way so we've been like immersed in all the different you know streets and the buildings and the architectures we've been walking and I seen that then I saw this like pretty building in the background probably totally ignored when it's like next to this guy but it's just, just so much beauty everywhere all the buildings are pretty and you know all the, the scenery is nice and a lot of attention and effort has gone into this place. Um, the lanterns are pretty. I wonder what they look like at night. Hmm. Yeah, pretty cool. I think I might go see that Bosca guy. Now I've had a little look at this. <laughs> It's always funny watching the different people take different pictures. How, how people take pictures, it always makes me laugh. Like, there's so many different varieties of ways to take a picture <laughs> of yourself. <laughs> um, not a judgment, I just, it just makes me laugh. I, I think it's pretty cute, like how you can have so many different ways to do one thing, the same thing, and humans have so many different ways of doing things, their own way. Like, should we have it from down here? Should we have it from up here? Should we have it in angles? <laughs> should I smile? Should I look like I'm looking over there? Should I put on my lips? <laughs> I don't know, it's cute. I like it. I like it. Humans make me laugh. <laughs> Right then, what was next? Can you remember? So we were just walking down the little light to you. Yeah. A little light up path. Ah, oh, bubble! <laughs> bubble! Oh, nice. What's it called? The Park de la. Park de la. Kutu de la. It's the park bit that's at the end of the Arc de Triomphe. <laughs> it's the park de la end of the Triomphe. It's 22 Is it really? Wow, okay. Um, yeah, so we're just going to have a walk down here. And then we're going to have a little head down to the cathedral. Ooh. Okay, so we are at the Parc de la Cuitadella. Cuitadella. I'm gonna give up. I'm just murdering the Spanish language. <laughs> um, but pretty little thing up here. I don't know if you can see, but it's like made it like blue glass thing. <laughs> it's a glass thing on top of a building. It's very pretty. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the parks. Um, quite big, there's a zoo in it apparently, which I won't be going to, um, obviously. Um, so yeah, it's been a nice little walking through another park. Uh, I'm going to try it again. Park de la Cuita de la... Nope. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I can see another blooper reel coming up. <laughs> Guitar attempt Spanish. <laughs> oh, oh well, never mind. Yeah, it's pretty. Ah, parakeets. I've been a bit obsessed with parakeets. I think it's because I didn't know if they were parakeets or not. Um, yeah, they're very pretty. They're, yeah, there were some guys back there, like, they, they buy an apple and then they put the apple out for people to like, have a photo. And you know, they don't like it if you take a picture of the parakeets and don't pay for the photo. Um, despite the fact that obviously they don't own the parakeets, they only own the apple that they've put down for the parakeets. <laughs> So yeah, that, that was pretty like funny, but you know, yeah. Um, yeah, it's been nice. A nice little walk around, see some cool people, cool buildings. Um, as you can see the park behind me, it's all very pretty. And um, there's like some cool people over there, like playing with the dreads and sitting in a circle and sitting in lotus positions. I'm sure I'd fit right in. <laughs> I'm sure I can hear a hand pan somewhere. Maybe I'm just imagining it. I have actually really missed playing my instruments. Um, I won't lie. Um, right, let's see what's over this way. Oh, it is very green. <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder what makes it green. Don't know. Maybe it's just got like algae in it or something. He's pretty on the top there, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna assume that's Venus in the middle, or is it Aphrodite that comes out of the clam thing? Aphrodite. Yeah. Is it Aphrodite? I'm pretty certain. Um, Hades and the chariot. Nice. He rode a chariot around. I'm liking the dragony things. <laughs> what? The one on the top? No, it's real. It's been moving. Let's see. <laughs> it's just like lapping up the attention. He thinks everybody's coming to take photos of him. And he's just like, oh. There's an interesting bird. I know. There we go. This is on the way to the cathedral the um barcelona roman city walls and there you go very interesting lots of people doing the thing very interesting very interesting Woo. and i think looking at where we are and what the architecture looks like we're kind of like nearly in the um the gothic quarter wow it's very beautiful that's years that's uh Joseph, right? Because he's got a sword, it would be a pot. Which one? Uh, second from the... Oh, I don't know. I mean, I would imagine he would. Because that's a pot. <laughs> The last place in the stair, welcome. Ultima Plaza Libre, bienvenidos. What do you desire? What makes you itch? What sort of a situation would you like? Let's suppose I do this often in vocational guidance of students. They come to me and say, well, uh, we're getting out of college and we have the faintest idea what we want to do. So I always ask, what would you like to do if money were no object? 
How would you really enjoy spending your life? You say, well, we'd like to be painters, we'd like to be poets, we'd like to be writers, but as everybody knows, you can't earn any money that way. Let's go through with it. What do you want? When we finally got down to something which the individual says he really wants to do, I will say to him, you do that and forget the money. Because if you say that getting the money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing, which is stupid. <laughs> Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. And after all, if you do really like what you're doing, it doesn't matter what it is, you can eventually become a master of it. It's the only way to become a master of something. You really will it. And then you'll be able to get a good fee for whatever it is. And anything you can be interested in, you'll find others. But it's absolutely stupid to spend your time doing things you don't like in order to go on spending things you don't like and doing things you don't like. Therefore, it's so important to consider this question. What do I desire? Okay, people, I'm ready for you. Vamos a tirar la casa por la ventana. Welcome to my world. Family para vos. Vamos, Barcelona. Only 30 seconds for the show. Come on. Vamos. Only work for Barcelona. Estamos calentando. Disfrutalo. Uno de los más jovencitos de nosotros. Está con toda la energía. Eso. Increíble. El gran apruebo. Palma. Don't sleep, everybody. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. Come on. Only 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Comenzamos. Vamos. Super Saiyan. Attention, please. Super Saiyan. Ah, I'm so 
It's exclusive, but they didn't yeah. have to name it. <laughs> They've got a back door for the staff. <laughs> anyway, we've done the cathedral. It was very pretty. I did not pay to go in. I did go in to pray. Um, which was very nice. Um, it was very beautiful. I went in quickly. I had a little pray. I gave thanks. I had much gratitude. And um, and then we saw the cool show outside. That was pretty cool. The um, internet. <laughs> oh, there's a Regency colon. <laughs> Leo. Leo. <laughs> there's another one. <laughs> And we just <laughs> we've been having a chuckle over uh, over the hotel colon. <laughs> that one might have been. That means Regent Hotel colon. Come on, it means something different. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> hotel colon. Um, yeah, that was pretty funny. But yeah, the, the show was pretty cool. Uh, the international breakdancing people that um, got interrupted by the police. Not allowed. No permission. Permission. Oh, no permission. Uh, I'm fucking butchering it again. Um, and it was really cool because it was about eight, I think, eight guys. And, um, and then the police turned up and like five of them just went, disappeared. 
to the stereo, took all the gear, left and left three guys collecting money. And then they got a little slap on the wrist and then they took, I've got their details. Ooh. And then, uh, yeah, I told them off they're not allowed to do that outside the cathedral. Um, but hey ho. Um, we're going to have a little walk around the Gothic Quarter now and then head back on the train. It's been an amazing day. We've had lots of fun. We, um, the one problem that we have encountered has been a, a lack of public toilets. There, there aren't any, <laughs> basically. Um, yeah, so we had to buy a coffee in the museum next to the cathedral and I got told off by security for not wearing shoes um, quite rudely. Oops. Um, and he, he went back to his little camera station and he, I could see him in the corner and he was like zoned in on like me and Caleb and Leo and like just checking out that, that I was gonna actually put them on. Um, yeah. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I put I put my shoes on. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna have a nice walk around now.